Hello friends, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're here and have some very good news for you. So stay with me. Hello everyone, uh, we're so excited today to the ladies and we are joined with daddy uh, with the mind of God to just, you know, give us insight and but a lot of the discussion will be with the ladies. So just before we start, I would like um, Grace Baco to pray and then we'll let the mind of God take off. Thank you, Mrs. You're welcome, sir. This is our man of God, everyone. Um, let us pray. <laughs> let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you and we exalt you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this precious moment that we have to learn, to unlearn, to receive insight. Thank you for everyone who's watching. We thank you because this sessions as for uh, for us to gain more understanding in areas pertaining our lives thank you for our man of god who is with us today thank you for how you're going to speak through him to minister to us in jesus mighty name thank you for the opening of our understanding for everyone who's going to listen in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen hey what i mean yeah, like so today we are <laughs> Dating, dating, dating. Bako. Akirapa. Snyder. They are representing the ladies. Please, the ladies, send your questions. The men, if you have questions, send it across. Our work is to listen today. I will just ask questions that are necessary so that we can hear from our guest speaker. Akirapa, what is dating according to you? And the question applies to all of that as we move. We go to a kid up and then back with the Snyder. Dating. A period of knowing each other. You are attracted to someone of the opposite sex. So getting to know them. Yeah. With the aim of getting into a relationship. With the aim of getting into a relationship. <laughs> and all the same question if I helmet. <laughs> Okay, all of us who are watching online, can we share the page? Also, for those of us who are here, can we share the page to our friends that we are live, we are live, we are live. This is interesting. Uh, so you're saying it's a period of knowing someone you are attracted to, according to you, Ekirapa, yeah. Uh, Bako, what is dating to you? Just like Grace Ekirapa has said. <laughs> <laughs> um, what <do> <laughs> Uh, dating dating uh, is knowing. It's Yeah, again, just as Gracie has said, it's a period of knowing um, with a focus to, you know, uh, with a future. <laughs> you know, guys, guys, let me pause here. Our man of God is, is a man full of wisdom. So you, you watch the words when you, <laughs> when you say something. <laughs> oh, let me phrase it well. Um, so dating is knowing that period of knowing each other, two people knowing each other, um, mm -hmm. to know more, learn, um, with, you know, an intention, uh, intention. <laughs> yeah, intention of a deliberate intention of, uh, uh, you know, furthering that relationship. Furthering the relationship to what? into courtship and then into marriage so you date to marry <laughs> you date to marry but it's not by force it's you date to marry but it's, it doesn't have you know, that's another topic who do you think forces is it the man or the woman sorry who do you think forces it is it the man or the woman either either it depends uh, Snyder, what is dating <laughs> Honestly, that's a hard question to, to answer for me specifically, but I would say, in my opinion, it's um, just like having a partner and try and like knowing them, like getting knowledge of what they like, what they don't, can I live with you? 
and then once I dated you for some time and I think I can live with you then or I can stand you I can probably like go to the next step but yeah have you guys ever dated spiders what you do me uh, <laughs> uh I've <laughs> wait why are you guys laughing like <laughs> I've de- okay. I would I've say never. before never. I've had like yeah. I I think I have. You think you have? Yes. If you have not dated, what were you doing then? Because like I I came to realize like what I was doing wasn't actually like the the stipulated dating. What I was doing was um having fun with people oh, thinking so that I was. Fun. <laughs> you don't even date sometimes. <laughs> That was BC. That was BC. Like, Hipokalic. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Baku, have you ever dated? Let me see. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, but just like Sana said, given the definition of dating, now that I think uh, we know better, um, you, you you can call that you know the first that one was having fun that was just i can say mine was just you know being in a relationship because people are in a relationship i mean you're in university and just get into it yeah thank you rafa have you ever dated i'm a saint i've never dated hey. the holy ghost hey. <laughs> BC, BC. Before you found Christ. <laughs> yeah. So you have. But, but I've updated. Yeah. Yes, I, I've ever dated. And actually, for me, like, I've always been intentional. Yeah, I've, I've been. I've dated, I've had situationships, but while dating, I think I was intentional. Yeah, I was intentional actually. Just that I didn't know quite enough. So you guys, you have said something three years. You have said dating, you have said having fun, you have said situationships. So which one do you usually do more? Do you date, do you have fun, or you have do situationships? And how do you know when you're dating? How do you know it's a situationship? And how do you know you're having fun? And how do Situationship entanglement. <laughs> hey man, be warned. We're yeah, maybe the situationships. Maybe they're having fun with you and you're thinking you're having dating. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um I think having fun mm. is just as Nada said, you know, just uh it's 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 the thing in town. That's what we do. That's what is done in university. If so you your, have, your heart is not even there. It, 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 yeah, it, it does. Kiss the it guy. Bother you? Yes, you, you can. Kiss the guy. Sorry. You can still kiss the guy and there's nothing there. Yes, it's, it's wow. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, no strings attached. <laughs> wow. So the man is suffering there. <laughs> It is all hard that the woman kissed me and you're not, you're not even there. You're having fun. I think, I think most of the times, I think most of the times it's usually that the, the one in an entanglement or situation, uh, it's usually not one person. I think when you get in, you get into a, a situation with another person who is also not as intentional as you are. Oh. So, so the, your work is just to have emotional fun. If yeah. it's over, it's okay. It doesn't matter. But mm, I you just, just still cry, even if it's over, the situation is over. Because emotions are attached. Ah. It's not that you didn't cry, you shake your head, no? You you, you don't Yeah, cry. it depends for me because because when I'm not invested in someone, like with if because I think someone will know if I'm invested in them and they'll also know. I'll usually I'll try to hide BC, but like usually I wouldn't cry. Like because I'm like, yeah, I'm with you because I 
yeah i'm having fun yeah, so like, if it's over like, it's over yeah like that hair band that i'm done with it as a movie <laughs> yeah sorry no i sorry i didn't want to like say yeah to that comment but wow yeah so so uh, can how many situations have you had in your life this is very interesting why that question why that question for me <laughs> no yeah I think... I, there's a reason i'm asking that there's a reason uh i think for me i've had like two types of situationships Three. like a situation one, two, two types two two, oh. two types of situations mm-hmm. yeah one like one is for yeah the fun like the fun type and the other one is where like your circumstance will take you there so i think around 10 <laughs> situation sheets 10 <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad <laughs> we need a span of to be led by the woman Men need to be led by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this great. Maybe your relationship is a situation. <laughs> ah, so it was a circumstance that led you there. Yeah. Yeah, true. It was not that your heart was. No. You have to be there. Something like like you see your circumstance will force you into it. Oh. Yeah. So, Bako, what kind of circumstances are these? These circumstances, I really... I, <laughs> I think this is best suited to answer that. No. Because what we can be like, all of you are sharing something in common. Like, you, you guys, like, I, I feel like you women know the person you can give your life to. But the guys you meet, you feel like, ah, uh, this is just what Miss Yelts yeah. to do. You know, like uh, this is just a circumstance. This is just a, a moment. I want to have fun. I want to show people I have another shoe in the form of a man. You know, new high heels. You know, new high heels in town. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what are these circumstances, Marco? I'm really interested. Hmm. I can aggressive, but give us the circumstances. I, <laughs> I, 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 how will I put it? I, I can't. Let us be honest, Marco. Don't, 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 don't. In the instances, Please, let, me, let me say my my entanglements, <laughs> my entanglements and situationships have been have been those that like I thought life BC before Christ. Um, <laughs> I thought um, that was dating, you know, mm. even though it wasn't. Mm. So there are things that I admire mm. that. Right now, I can't AC after Christ. <laughs> I can't yeah. look at. So, so I, what are these circumstances? <laughs> what are the circumstances? Uh, wow. Um, I'd say for me, usually it was like, um, I'm going out to a club. I meet a guy who looks really cute and I'm like, oh yeah, I think, you know, it would be nice to dance yeah. with you and stuff like that. So for me, like now from like having that dance, mm. those few kisses, like, you know, it's like, okay, now I guess we are dating. So that's literally how it would happen. But it's mm. not dating now that I know what dating is. Mm. So Jeff is asking, he wants to put it BC, DC, HD. <laughs> it has to be before some of us are single eh? <laughs> you have to <laughs> make that point <laughs> uh, some of you are single so all the guys are watching please their numbers are online <laughs> you can just find it just dial the numbers they are available all of them <laughs> we have bc they are not be- before you understand they are in bc area <laughs> so I, I, I like so it means a woman can talk to a man I'm not being involved at all. A woman can spend time with a man. I'm not being involved at all. So after Jeff giving you funny jokes like Chachi's show, takes you out for a date, you enjoy the meal and go home and sleep like nothing happened. Yeah. Then he's there to buying time to know <laughs> if you have a future and you're like, seriously, let me enjoy your food. You think you are willing to buy me food? Let me eat it. And that man is given a kiss and he thinks like I'm a mungiza box, like in a mungiza box. He's also traveling with him, with him. Oh my God, this relationship is complicated. 
So all the men, please be sensitive in the spirit. <laughs> That's the only thing I can tell you for now. So far, so far we have gone today, I can see that women can do it because of a situation. It can be, yes, the situation can be circumstantial or it is for fun. Or they can do it because they really want to do it. So let me ask you guys, you know, my ladies, when do you know you're involved with someone? What, what is that trigger that makes you know you're involved with someone? Any of you can answer. Involved to me? Like, you know, this is not I'm fun. This is not circumstance. Oh, like I'm... This is the real thing, man. When I, when I think this is something I am in it. Because what I'm saying is that it should help a brother say they are true that he can see some signs. Because now all the men are praying. Am I in a situation? Am I in a circumstance? <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do you know? And maybe to help a lady outside there who thinks he's in a relationship, but maybe they're in a situation, you know? Or they're in a circumstance. So how do you know you're like now involved? This one is something for me. That's a hard one. Bako, can you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> I love the way this guy shapes it. Don't worry, my ladies are on fire. We <laughs> want to pass over the buttons to each other. So how do you know? How do you know? Um, I think let me start from the from how the man should know, like pointers. Mm. Um, the response. What mm. kind of response that how that does the lady respond to uh your jokes, your Churchill show jokes. Mm. So the others that you'll just know she's just being friendly. But then if it is for, or maybe let me speak for myself, I'll respond with care. And I don't know, I want to know more. It's not just, oh, we had fun and it was funny. Whatever you said was funny, you know? So it's uh, that, I want to know more. So my research is you Sorry? want to know more. You are inquisitive, like you want to know what are you saying? Are you leading with exactly, you? exactly. And then you want we... the music, you are Lena DJ. Play the music. Let me dance with you. Let me roll. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm? And and plus <laughs> and plus women know how to detach emotions and bring in emotions. So when yeah, yeah when when I know that I'm involved my emotions are full blown in there full blown how yes. do you know you're full blown i know that i'm trying to help a guy <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm wondering richard has bought toiletries today so if you pick up on the vest he had bought six months ago and he's wondering this lady today i took her to highlands bought for her mango juice how do i know the lady is full blown for me Oh, she was having the most. Snyder, what do you think? What do you know? Snyder? Uh, for me, uh, also just speaking for myself, um, usually I literally would give everything. Like, I don't know how, like when I love, I do love with my everything. Like, I will do research for you. I will, <laughs> like, I will save for you. I will like anything. I will do it for you because I don't know. I just get so like you know like it's, and especially i found that i love <laughs> guys who have a big vision and i think this was also an issue i had that someone would tell me their big vision and i'll probably be like wow i want to be with them because i have a very strong imagination that when you tell me that i i'm thinking of doing this i will have imagined myself in it you know like if it's that hey, land we are buying i've imagined the house and i've just been told <laughs> That's the thing, yeah. I I learned so like if I a man who has a big vision and they're really into it, I I get attracted to them and I can and I give so I give so to know you will know that I I don't know that there are other women like me out there, but usually like some women just give their all. Richard and myself of Kenya, so you only can do apple research. What's your vision first? <laughs> Richard, what's your vision first? You must buy <laughs> up the vision. Echirapa, how do you know? Hmm? I think I also agree with, with Snyder and back home. Hmm. But I've, like personally for myself, like there's always a hunch in me 
that I know that I can go for this. And I always know like someone who I can't like I know. And uh, me, a good thing I don't take people for rides, especially if we are not going anywhere. I won't even entertain your dates and all that. I'll just tell it to your face so you stop wasting money and all that. Yeah, so actually for me, it's very straightforward. If we are going nowhere, you can be sure by the second time I'll tell you. Is so you can just... Told, have you ever told someone that I'm not going anywhere with you? Yeah, but not not even that you said for that he I'm not going anywhere. Like yeah. you just tell them that. Uh, let me not say what I said. <laughs> hey, love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, you just tell them that yeah, at the moment. It, like actually, I've I've noticed like for myself, I can even sense someone's intentions. Like I can, I can know if this someone wants us to maybe date and all that. And I'll just tell them even before they say it. Mm. Yes. Mm. And great. apparently find that it's true and I help them in the long run. Mm. <laughs> wow. I, I and I also you. help myself. You're helping yourself by saying the truth. But you guys yeah. are so funny. Like sometimes you tell someone you don't want them, but you want them. When should do you want someone? No, that's not true. That's a big lie. People, I don't know why guys always say that. Oh, if you say no, you actually mean yes. No, I mean no. If I say yes, I mean yes. If I say no, it's a no. And oh. Are you serious? It's just weird. Yeah. It's just like, why? Like, why? Oh. Yes. <laughs> because we are naturally hunters. <laughs> and it's actually very easy, Daddy, to say yeah. no. To, to, if you, you know, we, we always know, like girls, we know if someone is interested. Even from the, I think like from the beginning, even before they start. <laughs> That's yes. a very good i love the way you have answered so the next question i'll ask you have you ever kissed frogs you guys i start with Ekirapa. a frog that never became a prince <laughs> okay Ekirapa, please start <laughs> <laughs> wait wait i need to know why wait what did you ask <laughs> i've ever kissed a frog which was not their prince you know most of us ladies have hey. involved, we've done research papers for <laughs> <laughs> me, yeah, I'm a victim, absolutely. I up. I can't must tell me it's a frog that was not your prince, and how did you know it was a frog later? Oh, uh, actually, like for me, I've like I've been in two dating relationships, like two, and they weren't frogs. Yeah. Like no, I was it's... like I was alright to the relationship. Like by that time, like they weren't frogs. Like it was maybe I can't I can't say it was right at the moment, but it was like it was a good relationship. But the situationships, I, those I didn't even see if they are frogs or princes. Like let, let, those let, are... let us talk about these good ones. The because good if ones. They, if they were princes, you're not with them. Are you with them? No. Yeah, well, 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 how did you know they are not them? Uh... Oh, like, so because, because I, I can say, like, right now, there's a lady maybe kissing a frog right now. You understand? And mm -hmm. the man who thinks maybe he's loved, or maybe he's a frog also. So you want to help them out. How did you know they are not them? Oh, that definition of frog is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think while I was there in the relationship, it was okay. Until, like honestly, yeah, it was okay. And uh, like when, me, when I'm when I am in a relationship, like I'll go all in, and if it ends, it's also alright. So, like honestly, I don't know how to answer that. So they, don't frog, know, like, for, so they they left you without you knowing why they left, or you left them. Mm. like you, uh, eventually like as, as you think on that answer because you look like a really deep i know you answered before mm. so quality uh, i'm coming back uh, back uh, uh, for you how many frogs have you kissed uh, before you discover they are, they are not frogs concerned? i'm very frogs daddy you're calling them frogs anyways no um, but you, see, you have learned the story that the prince the who was kissed who was a frog and they became a prince you understand <laughs> you, you, you didn't read books not that, not that one, not the one of the first oh, one. Oh, sir. So, how many wanna be for princess did you kiss? Because they became a uh, princess. <laughs> so, uh, 
I I have I have dated two. Mm. Just that I was like in, not I wouldn't say intentional, but like I thought I was. Mm. You see, everyone. It's <laughs> okay, Marco. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. First of all, the one BC is banned from now, so no one is using BC again. We keep so, up. Is, <laughs> no, no BC anyways, mm. uh, so two. Mm. and how i knew so the other one was just so the first one i'd say it was um i think we, we grew apart i'd say that yeah we grew apart i felt like i was moving so fast and he was really dragging it was slow he was a slow yeah. guy <laughs> he, loads, he loads after 24 hours you cracked a joke. Oh, oh that was a joke. Hi. <laughs> not the jokes, but like you feel like this one is not going somewhere. And you know. Yes. Uh-huh. Then the other one, hey, this one I thought was gonna, you know, yes. But um as they always not always do, but like yeah, they Some it ends them always do. The wrong note. Like what, what do you mean wrong note, please? Can you stop? Actually, you can get a mafum. What happened? Tell us. You're helping um, us. You're helping someone. And faith, unfaithfulness. So, like, I noticed, oh, this girl was actually dating someone else. And so that that's how I left. Um, oh, yes, and then, yes. You cried. I'm no, I know, but it's okay. You're okay. I'm happy. You're My mom you. was there. She was coming. Oh, cool. <laughs> you rubbed your back. Okay? And yeah, all the qualities. <laughs> I'm coming to something after this question. Sorry? I'm coming, I'm going, I'm coming somewhere. Uh it's not our the frogs who never became a prince. How did you know? Okay, I have so many of those. Uh yeah, so so <laughs> okay, so as I said earlier, then let's yeah. So experience. <laughs> Yeah, come. I have a No, no, no. Okay, but as I said earlier, like I okay, so two things that I love about a man. First one, vision. Second one, they have to be alpha. So usually these two things would make me think that I'm either falling in love or something with a guy. And those happens. A lot of guys are hey, excuse me, the guys I was with, <laughs> not a lot. The guys I was with. Um so what happened that I knew they were not the ones is I get to a point where I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you to achieve something and I'm putting my effort, like I'm putting so much effort in your vision and you're not doing anything. I'm like, okay, we're done. And then the other one was, most, that one was the main one. Yeah. Uh, what? Finish. The other one which happened a lot is just I got bored. Oh, mommy is asking alpha and Dio. As in, okay. Like an alpha male for me is someone who is, as in, like if you have three friends, where do you live with that guy? I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I don't know whether it's a psychological thing I have, but you're that guy. You're the one who could say, like, what one of his kids are. Yeah. Oh, you're like the leader. You're the leader, basically. So, uh, Richard, please think if you're an actor. <laughs> <or you're... laughs> Before we leave, Richard. <laughs> Richard, I got out for your research work. And after you leave the quanta, that's some qualifications and a pair of upper. <laughs> so, you can remember you what happened, at least now. Barco has told us. Discover that one. The other one was like she was moving fast. Uh, so I just said she just realized she's pushing someone in that vision. Another thing, she just got bored. That means there's no intriguing after some time. So, but okay, what was yours? Uh, for me, I actually let me not say I thank God, but I thank God uh, that like the people I did here, like they weren't people who have corners and all these weird behaviors like there are people who are straight Mm -hmm. like they had character and all this so I think my main issue was and I've come to realize this with time they also had visions and all this so that was never a problem 
but the issue or the the main issue like i think i attracted like also people who are hard like myself because we tend to share like stories we tend and hey i got this quote somewhere one fine day that time will reveal one what interrogation cannot so you find that mm-hmm. over time kuna mkwaruzano tu hapa na pale and uh, funny thing is that for me like i'm, I'm always very patient yeah sometimes yes i might snap ni kama nimeenda lakini i'm very patient so you're blaming it to attracting people who are hot like you I like that like like people you share stories even like past stories with guys oh i think and i don't know how you attract this in fact it's to you so you attract people like you to the, by just talking to them like yeah you find you share stories hey yeah and all that but over time kuna huko tu mgwaruzano like as both of you develop in your Wow. whatever it is you are hurt and all that it, it, it mean that you, most of you ladies go for a safe space what makes you feel comfortable yeah yeah right. cool cool so men please create a safe space we'll have them all <laughs> hallelujah that's yeah. true actually i think more about safe space they care about safety isn't that later you discover that you are growing and they know maybe growing or you just i'm grow. not at the same pace yeah And, and I think one thing that is coming out here is pace. I think we men look at pace so much as time is going by. And even I was just looking at most women who are frustrated in marriage just to do with pace, pace of development of the male species. You know like mm-hmm. if a man you know if a man yeah I, just, I can't say a man because everyone is a male. A man is someone who has mastered themselves. Mm-hmm. You know we have males, you know uh, it's, it's, truth. it's the truth. There will be our females. and one female is crying like a like a child so that's not a woman yet you know uh, so the thing is that you guys are like so what will make what will be apart i want you to give guys give me three things that you think can make you date a man as individuals like the first three things i know you have told me about alpha and whatever thing but give me something now that you look forward for Okay let me make it five. If I make it three some of you may repeat the same thing. Let me make it five. Five things that you think for you will stand out. Stand out. If I see a man like this, I talk to him for weeks, these five things will be my number one thing. Just help me some bigger brothers also there and help me some ladies there to also find out what are the five top things for themselves. And if you're a lady watching, please ask yourself what are the five five things that you can stand for? as a woman before you start dating a man because the man has secured for coffee is it true you know him he told you his name tells you the job he does all of you are talking about vision hey we love big visions big visions but what would be the five top things snider <laughs> oh god i feel like i was still preparing in my mind um the big thing for me cuz i know i'm very intelligent so the, a big thing for me is usually i need you to be smart like if you're not what is so i'm not being arrogant mm. if you're not like if you can't if you can't have conversations with me that are intriguing that they will make me think oh wow that's really interesting like so that one like intelligence also i love i just love guys who read <laughs> like i want us to talk about books and talk about you know interesting stuff in the world um The other thing is just you have to be a hard worker like and also while you're hard, working hard don't forget that I'm your woman like usikwe tunafanya kazi sijui and you're bringing the money okay fine but you know um <laughs> anyway you're looking at me like that <laughs> you're absorbing you're absorbing number four. Okay, I'll be funny. Now it is a big one for me, please like. You must you have be, to funny. be funny. Thank <laughs> <Yes. laughs> like, you know because I love I honestly laugh at everything, so it's not hard to make me laugh, but be funny. Mm-hmm. And you have to know Christ. You have to know Christ. Oh wow. Uh, that is very interesting. Wow, think about it. Intelligence must be smart so 
there's something else. Okay, let me hear Bako. There's something I want to ask. Bako, uh -huh. Um, so I won't repeat what Snata had said, but uh, the main one for me is discipline. I am, uh, what is discipline, Bako? Uh, so what would speak out to me as a disciplined man um, is someone who pays attention to the details of life, like to the details in life. So specifically, I look at, this is me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. How it's you okay. dress shows me your discipline, how you walk, oh Lord, yes. Uh, so I, I tend, no, I tend to read, I think this, no, this how is you character, <laughs> this is character. I tend to, I tend to, I read someone's, um, like how they think, oh, what style. <laughs> how, <laughs> from how I see them. It's not the walking style, daddy, but like, just how you present yourself, you know, you can just launch or like you can stand up. Mommy is relating with you, just work and now I relate. Uh, Man, I'm a good working I'm a good uh, So, uh, discipline and then confidence and confidence. really just be confident in yourself. Um, that one really, really, and then again, everything Snyder has said besides. Mm. Uh, nice one, nice, nice one. I love that, man. Please, apart from intelligence, uh, you can make jokes. Please mind your working styles, please. <laughs> 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 My friend, you know that jokes when you pull it out. I my My girls, I love you guys. I love you guys. You see, that's good. This is good for a woman to know what she wants. And I, I, I think the man out there, I'm talking to you. The man who's not intelligent, he needs to be intelligent. The man who doesn't know how to read books, you must know how to read books. You must be hardworking. You must be disciplined. Hey, have a good working style. Ah. <laughs> What do you say? Dress you well. Say? I'm dressed well. <laughs> Be smart. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. For me, also the discipline one, especially when it comes to time. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I need to improve when it comes to time, but someone who can keep time. Hey, I take a and go there for two hours. Mm -hmm. I like. <laughs> Yeah, discipline. Then someone who like knows Christ and actually like lives Christ. And yeah. on that note, hyphen, no alcoholic. Hey, alcoholics, no. Even if you meet all the qualities and you're an alcoholic, no. I think I've experienced quite enough with alcoholics. Uh, then uh, what else? Someone who can tell me to shut up. And I shut up. I think. Yeah, I think I should develop when it comes to this. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like, the way back is it yeah. confident. You have mastered yourself. Yeah. You can yeah, make a yeah. listen, just listen to me and she could. Yeah. But she, yeah. he has a working style, he cannot tell you to keep quiet. <laughs> Man, you can't tell I want to keep quiet and you're working badly, man. Go me, go to God. <laughs> Daddy, that's very true. That's very true. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think you ladies are so specific who can tell you what, depending on yeah. the, what you release. But, but the question now I have, you, you like all the ladies now listening there, they're like saying yes, yes, yes. The question I ask myself, what happens when you meet a man? Why do you forget these things? Yeah, because if, if, I, if I talk to married women, most of them, like, they knew what they wanted, but they were swept, and they forgot. Yeah. When they go there, they realize, oh, my God, why did they not? What usually happens, because you are dating a man. I'm talking to the ladies, I said, yeah, what, what happens that you forget that you are looking for these qualities? Some of you women are praying that one day that man will change. You're acting like the Holy Ghost, and you're not the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And you see, one thing that I, I think I want to tell all the men here, if you have the qualities the women have said here, they have not talked about money, or they have not talked about 
anything dealing with Maria that talks about your vision. So as I ask that question, what happens? Jeff is asking here, what about the vision? Can women handle the work that comes with a man's vision? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we even need to answer that? You think you can handle it? it I mean, like, okay. I, I, I like, I doubt also. You doubt? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I doubt. I myself doubt also. I think that it, just like so that when a man sees vision, a man doesn't see vision like him there with you all the time. A man sees vision about him working, but the woman wants, I want my attention. Like the way Snyder says, as much opportunity, don't forget, I am uh, there. Yes. That is very true. Because it's a relationship. I'm not here to work for you. We are in a relationship. <laughs> now you see i like that i like that i like that but you see men men rarely remember that like you see for me all of you have noticed when i'm working i'm working like mm -hmm. i work so if you're a woman have an issue with attention issues you can suffer in my hands that's the truth so when i spend time with you i spend time with you but when i'm going to my work i go to my work obviously i'll call i'm not saying that i'll not call but i may call but not for long hours you understand but you see i think this is not a matter of also you as a woman when you're talking about vision do you, do you always verify if you can handle that vision i think that's what jeff is asking you you meet a man who's a basketballer do you think you can handle when she has all this attention from other women you're meeting a man who's a president he needs to travel all over the world will you be able to deal with that do you understand what i'm talking about it's not that it's doing really the work so doing the work you can do it but can you deal with the pressure that can come with the celebrity? Some women, they think a man being here will, uh, will change me. Because when you married him, he was not all that. Now he's all that. Are you able to handle it? That's what I think that's what he's asking. Maybe Jeff can correct me. Yeah, that's, I think I, I, can, I can try. I can try answering that. Um... I think one one thing is that women, now that we were created to be helpers, I think we're created to be flexible enough. Women can really get into anything. <laughs> if they, they be, as someone told me, if, if a woman becomes a robber, she, they'll be the worst robbers because they give their all. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they go into a relationship, they you know they give, they their, give their all. So. Um, if with regards to Jeff's uh, question, I think if the man can bring the woman into the vision, if the woman can see that, we, if don't just walk your own path, I think. But if, you see, I'm, what I'm talking about is not about bringing the woman to the vision. Mm -hmm. The man can bring into the vision. The question I'm is asking so simple. Assuming, like he, he is a basketballer. You start with him as a humble guy, okay? Yeah. He's not playing local, okay? And you bought the vision, you bought even you came and watched the games. Okay. But now his visual level is playing with for Lakers, okay? He's playing the international scene. And you see, he can't fly with you all the time, maybe because you have children with them, you understand? And you're seeing all these celebrities. You're seeing all these people who are all these guys hanging around him, all these people texting him, all these people saying, Oh yeah, man, you look good. You see someone posted their Facebook photo with him and say, Oh, my cutie guy. My celebrity, you understand? Yeah. Are you able to handle that? I think that's what he's asking because men listen to me. I'm a man, I have no problem bringing any my wife to my thing. The challenge will be if my thing blows out of a out of my normal expectation, and for me, I'm no, I'm thinking my work, I'm not thinking anything. And will she be able to handle the changes that comes with it? Because remember, you woman you always want to be number one. And you don't know how to differentiate between number one and competing, which is the truth. Most of you don't know how to differentiate if you're number one or competing. So that's what he's asking. If he needs to travel, will you be willing to stay at home? But if he said, I'm in a relationship with you, he needs to travel for one month. Will you be able to handle that? That's what I think he's asking. But remember, he has brought you to the vision. You have seen him grow. Are you getting? Yeah. Yeah, I think, 
now now that's the answer i think now i can i can answer that one and then uh in a different way i think that is now part of the woman on now self-development and having confidence in i love that um, yes having confidence in yourself that uh the relationship i mean the relationship defines you truly but there's you and then there's the relationship uh, and there's what you bring into the relationship so i think what's uh that one will depend uh if you're able to or not depending on how you've developed yourself and how confident so you are is depending on the woman if you can yes. develop yourself you can do anything yeah wow i i love the way you said self development i think that's why i always insist on all of you ladies develop yourself because if you don't develop yourself when they on the rock meets the <laughs> yeah meet the art you will know everything is tough you know I, i love that i i love that's a very good question so you guys i can i add something to what you yeah, said yeah. um yeah. also i think it just comes to the point of trusting like if you choose to trust your man you cho- you you're choosing to be in his vision you're choosing to like oh. be as grace said the helper so like if you don't trust your man then you will like i'm i'm a jealous person usually so i'm like if i don't choose to trust my guy whoever that should be like yeah. we shall i will be jealous 100% and it will hurt me more so i think it's just about trusting like yeah. choosing to trust. even if he comes home late just trust yeah even if you see messages just trust yeah but if someone also texts them really interestingly i will get in there <laughs> <laughs> and men hate that my men can listen to them and they can tell you men we value our space so much mm-hmm. you know men that's why see men can thrive with each other very well because we don't care what you want to do we look at where we are going you know men can fight now and two minutes they're talking as if nothing happened we care about we think in spaces we don't think in in lines like women you know women you think like dots that join each other lines you know yeah yeah so when you tend to and if you check most likely most men maybe have moved away from relationship because there are too many questions you're asking that they find is very relevant mm-hmm. so they find like so then, yeah so then we men are not supposed to ask the questions because also i think we we maybe it's the way women ask but i think as a woman i do want to know like i do want to so how should you the ask the question that's a very good thing i was going there i love the way you find playing with me very well so how should you ask the questions because all of you want to start dating i want to date this guy so how will you start asking questions because remember i've talked about spaces here okay a man wants to direct the relationship because sometimes though truth be told some men say you're giving me pressure una ni arakisha kwa nini Yeah, and since she can't to pull her out cash. Mbona una nisikuvu mwasumbua? Since she can't be why you still ask me for you are going? I'm talking about spaces here. And I think you took me to the next question. So how do you ask the questions? You want to know you have already told them what do you what you expecting? So how do you ask the question to lead to that next level? I think Grace, you should start uh I do want to say something. Please say something. And even Jeff has put it, capital letters the how how yani underline the word how because, because if you can't answer that I'm telling the truth the man can marry you but will never be confident telling you something because of how you ask them and if you check most of the disagreements I've told you men we live in spaces I don't even understand you see how zoom has a box like this I'm talking to you and I'm okay like this that's how men are living so i'm helping even you guys here so tell me how how should i ask the <laughs> how how should i ask the questions so kirapa the anointed one uh, before i answer that one i think i'll just add to what snider said like when you see the text coming in and all that i think there there's a way like you can know your guy like if he's someone of character i do not do those sneaky messages mm-hmm. like me just sneaky messages but he's someone that can be trusted yeah so what i'm just what i'm juma yes yes you can judge the character you want to worry about that yeah me if i know you are right what you to at me i want to bother don't ask hey man no come on my points i think men will send you letters right now 
please guys take it slow i am the pa before you reach to a call me first call me first i can request you call me first mm? Mm? yes call mm. daddy first mm -hmm. yeah and so on the one on asking is that i also need tips on that because me i'm very straightforward and mm. sometimes when you're very straightforward like someone might take offense and i know some uh, especially like it's it's expected that women should know how to seize on their words yeah but what come on mimi to nagonganga to nail on the head yeah, every time yes but yes. let yeah. me ask you something here i said confidence in your woman goes a long way for the man it determines what he trusts you with did you hear that mm -hmm. if you are not confident it will determine what he can tell you wow I know a man who came in the office, a husband. He told me that some things I can never tell my wife. Blunt and he told her that one. You tell her one, I, man of God, I won't lie to you. So sometimes, even she told me, when we, we come again with that, don't mention these things. She told me, it was straight to the point, I didn't know, and I understood. You see, that's what I'm telling you. How do you ask? Because you're dating this guy, how do you want to know if you go to the next step? You already invested in her. How? How do you know? How, you see, if you don't ask the right way, you may cancel what you're building that was so nice. Or the person can condone you. Then later in life, you discover he cannot even tell me the truth. You're so, not... <laughs> <laughs> you can to the tell the truth and they stay there. <laughs> tell them, yeah. Yeah. How many men did you ask serious, straightforward, and they answered you? Sometimes they take offense. I'm talking yeah, about actually, like most people will take offense. Yeah. And you also yeah. say for why you're just asking a very genuine question. And I actually, like I was very genuine on my part, but yeah. they took offense. I'm like, Connie, what did I do wrong? Like the you how? start wondering. That's a question I'm asking about the how. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to you must know how to ask. Like, Baku, what do you think you should do? Hmm. This one, <laughs> I think we are, we are encouraging you to ask the question, but I think, is. yeah, but how do you ask it? Because there's a woman there who wants to tell the man something, as maybe it's like a kirapa, she goes to the point, but he doesn't want to miss getting the understanding. Mm. So, how does she package herself to ask, but then what are we up to together? What, what are we doing? Yeah. I'd say um, you men men are different, mm. and you're able to learn mm. your man. And also, there's an ego bit there, which is very important. If a man doesn't have an ego, it's a problem. And if he's too excess, it's also a problem. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think there's there's this bit of wisdom, of wisdom. <laughs> yes wisdom in in showing uh, daddy this is a big word to use in in dating but wisdom to show honor i don't know if it makes sense um mm -hmm. you answered it you answered just say it again yes i said my session and i'll come next week i'll answer it but <laughs> yeah yeah wisdom mm -hmm. to show honor i think mm -hmm. honor even but even then i just said nice one back on I told you, <laughs> men can relate. Men relate, like we we cut across the board. Mm. There's nothing like you can say that this kind of man. Men, we see things, you know. And I think when you don't know have the wisdom to show honor in your question, you will mm. never get. Never as get a, it. The man can give you the phone. He said, you wanted this, take it. But I'm telling you the truth, after all that is said and done, you will never struggle to get information. Mm. Do you know even a man can tell you what will you do? If you want to go, go. You know a man can, can do that. But we are talking about dating life. That's the most women are being hurt. The dating life. No, it's as a woman, if you're told go, it can kill you. How did you chase me like that? God. And the bit of the bit of condoning. Um, yeah, if you, yes, if you, you see there's daddy, you, you're this, you know, uh, you say, hey, stop it, just go. Whatever. Then there's this other one who will just look at you like, okay, 
Uh, you mm -hmm. said, okay, it's cool. And they, they'll probably withdraw. Mm -hmm. And they'll just stay with you there like, yeah, you're there and it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so just like you said, if you don't have wisdom to show, and I think honor, honor can draw anything. Um, mm -hmm. if, even if it Which was... Which book are you reading? Also we read? Mm -hmm. we read? <laughs> the, the, the book of the Holy Spirit. Um, <laughs> Downloading. <laughs> Please write a book, madam. We need to read those books because me, the way you're saying, I'm like, inside me, I'm just boiling. I'm like, hey, okay. <laughs> Nada, what do you I need a book. How, how, how should you ask? I think, okay, first of all, I need to let this out because it's making me feel really bad that I've, I, I've tried to really convince myself that it's fine like because we talk about submission and everything and i i have never known how that to, i've never really understood what that is um and i've come to, and usually i feel like women have to sacrifice so much like you know i have to know how to ask you the question in an honorable way i have to, you know and i'm just like i don't know if if uh, if my husband told me go i will go because i'm like okay I'm also, you know, I don't, and that's how I feel. And I'm like, I know probably that's like being hard headed, which is, I don't know. Don't worry, don't man. Know. You can't come back. <laughs> I don't should not even bother you. <laughs> Just, I don't know, because I'm like, yeah, I feel like we usually put so much effort in, like, yeah, this is how a woman should be. This is, but how, do we know how a man should be? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said it last week. I think I even I told them. A back of Jefferson, the Kujia Soda. You know, like <laughs> you, have, you have done a very good job there, yeah. and that's why I told you you hit it when the moment you said it. I told you you hit it very well. Uh, Snyder, listen to me, men. If you see a man suffering from depression, it's surely because when he's not able to provide, and for a man sacrifices provision, and I'm not telling the truth right now. Mm -hmm. You talk to a man for him to provide. You submit to a man for him to provide for you. Not only materially, also emotionally, also mentally, also in vision. If you see a man is not productive, most likely it also started from how you are talking to him also. So men sacrifice something called provision. Okay. Just to let you know that also men sacrifice. <laughs> a man I'm who cannot kidding. provide for his family is low self-esteem. Mm. He's not confident. He, even if he dresses, he doesn't feel he's a man. Even you can tell him to keep quiet and he'll keep quiet. Do for a man who's sitting under a boss, who waters him down. He cannot provide that confidence. You, you will notice it. So men struggle with that. I think we'll talk about that you know, uh, later, but men sacrifice provision. When a man sit down and give you attention, he, the members are sacrificing. When a man calls you, remember he's sacrificing. Because you see, a woman can receive with all due respect. Okay. For me, as a man, I've never been given anything by anyone biological to me since my mother left. Do you see what I'm talking about? So my wife can receive gifts, even from the parents or anything, or even the sisters, like, can receive it left and center. So what, and I will ask, I will ask her for hers. But for me, when I give mine, I know I'm sacrificing. Like all of you are my daughters. When you call me, I sacrifice for my own. I have never told you, call another person. It's me. So I sacrifice that. So when I find a grandpa coming, submitting to me, she's helping me understand my provision was not a waste. I will talk about that later next week. Yeah. So how do you talk about? Well, I just try to explain to you <laughs> the logic behind it, men. So how I, I love Bako said with wisdom and with honor. Okay. So how do you think you do? How do you think you should ask? Because you are dating this person, you should know at what level are we? Where are we going? You know. So how do you ask without losing the relationship? Because Kunamuto say when I me, I do, who told you I want to get married? I want to get married in the next seven years. You know? <laughs> so, even you are dating a man, even you don't know where you are going, 
Where are we going here? So how do you ask? Eh, is someone put here? Yeah, that's a difficult one. That's a difficult question. So I, I think we are happy today, you know, for all of us who are asking questions, you know. I believe today you have learned something, you know. And I would suggest all of us go back to the clip, especially when the ladies said what they're looking at in terms of those things about dressing, confidence, you know, about intelligence, you know, about character. And, and you think, I, I love what Ikirapa said, character is very vital for her, you know. And I'm impressed with Ikirapa that if you trust your man, no matter the messages you don't mind, you trust, you trust. So I think that's a very vital, but I think next week when we come back here, we'll talk about all that, you know? And next week, oh, by God's grace, I'll be the one will be answering to them. They also asking questions. <laughs> I just will not be put on fire. <laughs> this is, let me tell you three, you guys have done very well. It was so insightful. And I can tell you the men have been feeling, men, have you been blessed? <laughs> Can you send a comment? All the men, if you have said they'll be blessed. Any lady you have been blessed. If you learn something, send a comment. And this is very powerful. Before I go, I'll just need to mention some things here quickly. Uh, let me see. Uh, Joyce is situation stands out a key. You understand? Uh, Jeff was asking, so why are you there? Like, I think maybe the relationship. Uh, Richard said, if you're having fun, so the guy is single and dating at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Pole Buona. Pole. <laughs> Be careful. But you've been told. You've been told what is it? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, so I, I think this is very powerful. Uh, Mama was telling you ladies not spill everything. These guys won't have any homework. Mm. Uh -huh. But Jeff said we were writing. Yeah. Uh, Okay, the guys, the guys have listened, listened. You know, like the guys have commented. I think the guys have really enjoyed your conversation so much today. You know, and I'm happy. I even under the same, even working style. Why are you so detailed? <laughs> 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 so I think I think this is very critical. You know. Mm. Mommy says, ask to understand, but not to question. Asking, but not critiquing. Uh, Jeff said, wisdom is profitable to direct. You know, I, I think you guys have done tremendously well, okay? I myself have learned something from you, especially when you're mentioning some comments. I, I am blessed to have you. This is all, I'm happy you are there before C, before Christ, you know? And... Uh, <laughs> I love you all of you share different personalities, which has worked well. And I believe the men and the people have watched, share it, release it, and read it again. Next week, we come to answer the questions, okay? I suggest rally all the ladies. You know, those ladies are asking about dating. How do you know? How do you what? How do you what? And also you three come up with your own questions. You know, like, let us see how we settle this matter. Snyder, tell us, what do you deal with me? If you tell me to go, I need to go. So how do I control that, you know? Because it's true. Sometimes you want to go. Are we clear? Some of you have not told me how you do you deal. And I think when we come, all of you wanted to tell me, how do you deal with a man who switches off his phone on you when you're dating? <laughs> I think that's the first question. You guys need to answer before I do anything that on Tuesday when I come back. Because we have people after you don't know how to ask them. The next question I wanted to ask you was, how do you deal with them as men who shut down on you and yet you are doing something with them? Okay. God bless you all who have watched today. Have a blessed night. Thank you, my daughters. I love you all big time. Remain ever blessed. Jesus Christ is Lord.